chain link. I haven't talked about chain link in a while. Chain link. Uh, so chain link uh, was actually recently looking very well. So you have chain link right here, guys. Uh, Six dollars eighty four cents. Big big level of support right down here. Five dollars and thirty cents. Big big level of support. Uh, if we lose this level right here, uh, you're looking at you know a three dollar chain link basically. I'm uh, looking at this level right here. Or potential retest or i mean you're looking at a at dollar you know 50 or let's just say a dollar 50 cents chain link so the question is can chain link drop all the way down to a dollar 50 cents uh that is not something that i think we are going to see uh this is a project that is already down you know, 90% uh, quality project from the current price all the way down to a dollar. You're looking at, you know, another 77% drop. Uh, I don't think Chainlink is, is going to do something like that. Uh, but if that, if we were to see something like that, you know, this is a project that I would definitely, you know, worry about because looking at, you know, potential downside price targets, I mean, you're looking at a 50 cents Chainlink. So if we are going to get a bottom, I think the bottom is more likely, you know, going to be somewhere around, you know, $3. So right down in this range right here, guys, you know, if we are going to get, if we are going to take out these levels right here, uh, the bottom is definitely going to be, you know, somewhere in this range right here. So I am, you know, extremely bullish on Chainlink. Actually, Chainlink is another project that I want to have in my portfolio. And if Chainlink wants to drop, you know, right down into this $3 and $5 range, you know, I'll be, you know, a happy buyer. And I will want to buy as much as I can, uh, again, because, you know, this is a project that is definitely going to do very, very well. So if you can get in somewhere around here, I mean, you're already looking at, you know, over a thousand percent gains. If we were just to, you know, retest our all time high in the next bull market. Uh, but starting your position right here is definitely not a bad idea. You know, if you can start a position at six dollars and eighty something cents, uh, just keep in mind that this is not the bottom. And, you know, you want to take advantage of. you know, future pullbacks uh, that are going to kind of bring us back to retest, you know, these $5 and, you know, 60 cents, uh, bringing us to around $4 and $3. Uh, looking at the daily time, uh, we recently, uh, we recently had this, uh, this drop right here from $9. I mean, all the way down to $5.54. Uh, that was a 40% crash. And this is one of the reasons, guys, you know, if you watch some of my recent, you know, updates, when I was talking about, you know, the rally, this rally right here, you know, I really tried to warn, you know, a lot of you guys that there was a possibility that a lot of these projects were going to see another, you know, 40, 50% crash. Uh, when you look at a lot of these projects, I mean, this is exactly what has played out in the last, you know, couple of days. And I am, you know, super, super nervous uh, looking at the state of the entire uh, cryptocurrency market cap, you know, $833 billion. I am, you know, super, super nervous that, uh, that we could potentially lose, you know, anywhere between 200 to $400 billion in the next couple of months. And when you think about, you know, the impact that could potentially have on a project like, you know, Chainlink, I mean, we can easily, guys, drop all the way down to around $3. But of course, that is a huge, huge buy opportunity uh, for long-term investors. And if you are prepared, and if you look at the chart of Chainlink realistic, uh, realistically, uh, but not just Chainlink, 
if you look at the chart of a lot of these projects, if we do get that huge, you know, drop anytime in the next couple of weeks or anytime in the next couple of months, then you want to be the person that is going to accumulate right down in this range right here, guys. This is where, you know, the big profits are going to come from. Accumulating right here above $10 is now where the big profits are going to come from but if you can position yourself you know very very well you know right down in the trenches right here and have you know an understanding that we are going to be here for some time that this is not going to be you know something that is going to turn around very very fast if you can have that understanding then i think in the next bull market in the next you know two three years you are going to look back and you are going to appreciate the fact that you were able to get in right down in this range when the times were scary. Because these are scary times. Uh, you guys are seeing a lot of analysis. You are seeing a, there's a lot of opinions on you know, social media. Uh, some people are talking about that this last bull market was the very, very last bull market for the cryptocurrency market. So if you are a new investor, it is, it, it, this is not the ideal time to, you know, introduce yourself to this market. And when you don't really have, you know, experience, you know, something like that is definitely going to discourage you. But if you are going to be, you know, the person who is going to be fearful when others are greedy, or if you are going to be the person who is going to be greedy when others are fearful, then you, know, you should be able to make the right decision and you should be able to overcome you know, adversities, to overcome you know, all the obstacles this bear market has you know, presented. And in the next you know, couple of years, uh, you, know, you should look back and you will be very, very proud of yourself. I am, you know, trying to be emotionless. I'm trying not to, you know, pay attention to, you know, what's happening in this market, even though, of course, you know, what's happening right now, it, it really, it's really hard, you know, to avoid it. But I am trying to be, you know, objectively, I'm trying to look at the market as it is. And I'm trying to be, you know, extremely optimistic. I'm trying to be very, very positive, And I'm trying to tell myself, every day that these two shall pass so here we are guys you know bear market scary times but we're looking at a bunch of projects that are presenting great opportunities great projects that could potentially you know like literally guys where you could potentially make you know thousands and thousands of dollars in the next two three years but only if you are able to invest right.